Hello Mallards, it is Wednesday and the weather is gorgeous, so I thought we'd just come hang out outside for a little while. It's been a bit since we, you know, went a wandering in nature while I did my vlog. Uh, I think that in part this wander is inspired by what I just did, so as you know, I love Candle House and their phone call shows. I'm a huge fan of them. I think that they're really fun and very unique. I always have a good time. I've tried several of them that come in many different genres and I've enjoyed all of them. So today I did one called Leo Season. It's put together by a woman named Katie and she is the writer and creator and also the performer and she is just who she is. And the whole point of this show is that she is reflecting over 10 years of diaries that she's kept, which like, impressive, I'm impressed. And during that time, she like kept a diary pretty religiously. And so as part of the show, she's reflecting back on those last 10 years and sort of the things that happened and discussing them with strangers. So you pick an age in her life that she kept a diary and then a month and then a day and she picks an entry that is that day or somewhere around then and reads it out to you and then you discuss things. So my entry was about uh, her freshman year where she was played one of Dracula's brides in the, dr in the show Dracula. Like that was the show that her school was putting on, which wow. As a freshman, she played one of Dracula's brides, which I think is really funny. And it was about the new people she thought was going to be cool. She thought were going to be cool. And the boy who was cute and she kind of had a crush on. And people telling her she's pretty. And just a general sense of excitement about this new thing that she was trying, which I thought was really relatable. I definitely remember that from my freshman year doing shows too. And every time I've done a show since then, it's sort of been like that. And I enjoyed listening to her read that and then talking to her about it. What especially was enjoyable for me was that at some point she mentions that this one girl is really cool and that she wants to be her friend. And it turns out that they are still friends now all the way from freshman year of high school to now um, almost 10 years later. And I think that that's really cool. Like it's nice to be able to reflect back on that. I have obviously my vlogs here that let me reflect back on my life for the past few years. And even my life before that in little snippets, I didn't keep a vlog every day back then, but I've been making vlogs on here for I think 11 years was my first one. I think my first vlog was a response. My first vlog might be older than that because I think it was a response to like a five awesome girls video in 2009, maybe. So maybe 12 years. Yeah, because As Catraz was in 2009 and I made videos just after that. So yeah, probably 2009. That's when I started making videos on here and I can look back on those and they are snapshot diary entry of my life, even if they aren't as consistent or religious as my current vlogging every day. But it's nice to be able to reflect like that, to think back on things, to look back on things. I use my vlogs now that I do them every day often to think, what was I doing at this time? Or do you remember when we went to this place or have I seen that movie or do I remember the name of that show or whatever it happens to be because I am more than likely put it in a vlog. Uh, anything out of the ordinary goes in a vlog. Anything I'm thinking goes in a vlog. It's a little bit different than a diary in that I would say that it's not necessarily my personal thoughts about the day every time although often it is right now these are my personal thoughts about the show and today, uh, but it's often a more action-packed recap of what I'm doing or an in the moment, like take you along with me while I'm doing things sort of deal rather than a reflection or a post about what I was doing or anything like that. 
So it's a little bit different than a diary. I would also say that because it's for consumption, it's obviously a little less personal. I don't really talk about my crushes on here, but I'm also a romantic, so I don't really have crushes. Maybe I would talk about them. I do talk about people when I'm excited, and I certainly try and get those people to be in my vlogs, which I would say is similar. So when I meet someone who I think is fun and cool, I want them to be in my vlogs. Or when I see things that are fun and cool. Or when there are kittens, like these guys. Hey, um, hey, Pouncer. Wild animals, you know, that sort of thing. So it is very, very much a diary. It is a way to keep track of what I did in my life. It's also a way to understand my voice and my feelings at different points in my life. Because even if I'm not talking about necessarily my personal thoughts on something, I am talking about the things that I love and enjoy. Sorry, there was a moth. And that does lead to a similar thing. And I can see the development of the things that I love and the changes. And also even small changes like my ability to edit. Wow, this moth, it's gonna drive me crazy. And my capabilities for a bunch of different stuff that have changed since I've started doing regular YouTube videos. So yeah. The other thing that's part of this Leo season is she wants a 30 second diary of today of what your Leo season is like. So I'm going to go record that now so that I can send it off. And as for the rest of you guys, I'll see you tomorrow.